have? What do we have? Oh, there was that judge that got destroyed by Ted Cruz. You want to watch that? Yes. Yes, actually, I do. Now, do you remember the context of this? Um, so the the judge that that he's speaking to is the same judge that allowed a pretty much a serial rapist, somebody who yes, and a pedophile, and a pedophile, yeah. somebody who is known to have these crimes, because that person decided to change their sex and become transgender, placed that that man in a female prison, in a female prison, the, endangering other females. Yeah. So yeah. Which, now, which at the end of the day, this this whole the whole trans thing is just replacing females, which is why I'm so against it because I love I love ladies. I oh love yeah, ladies. and it just yeah, at the fun. end of the day, we're learning, <laughs> we're also learning the result is actually hurting women. Yeah, absolutely. Like legitimately, physically, uh, all around the, the sports, board. With sports with it's everything. Yeah. yeah, actual violence, like everything. Right. Yeah. And there was a I saw a fight where it was a a trans dude, a dude transitioning to woman molly whopping the, the girl no and he fought an actual dude oh he fought a dude and he got his ass whooped mm. got his ass beat i thought you pummeled into the, the ground uh, the high school one there was one in the in the school where he was he was beating up this girl like, no he, i saw that one before yeah, yeah, yeah. No i don't even like watch it i can't even watch that shit Sick. it's ridiculous um <clears throat> but let's just uh this is a good there's a lengthy clip here but i think it's worth watching so we'll play it okay Oh, before you play it, real quick, shout out to uh, Misfit Ramble. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Peace. Yes, yes. All right, Rami Rams. Appreciate you. Appreciate all of you guys in the chat. Thank you. We'll get to you guys in a minute. Sport, what matters more? The rights of individuals or your po political ideology? I apply the law to the facts. I, I asked a question, which matters more? Well, my political ideology doesn't matter at all. Hmm. Okay, so I don't believe you. <laughs> and I think this case demonstrates that you are willing to subjugate the rights of individuals to satisfy your political ideology. This case involves a male defendant who raped a nine-year-old boy. Was he guilty of that? Yes, the petitioner pled guilty to that. Okay, so he raped a nine-year-old boy. He also raped a 17-year-old girl. Was he guilty of that? He pled guilty. The petitioner pled guilty of that crime as well. So was he guilty? I, I hope so, because she pled guilty to it. Uh, he was a he when he did this. That's correct. One year after being released again, he was convicted of having <coughs> child pornography. Is that correct? I'm, I'm unclear on exactly the time frame that you're at, but, but the petitioner was convicted of distributing child pornography. Child pornography that, w that was images of adults violently raping children. Abhorrent. Wow. By the way, she, she did clarify something too. He was distributing child porn as well. Yeah. yeah. So he was giving it up. Yeah. He's selling it. Yeah. Probably making it. I don't know. Okay. For which there are real victims. And this individual, six foot two, biologically a man. A minute ago, you said that when this man decided that he was a she, you, 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 you said this individual was, quote, I wrote it down, sober and entirely a female. That phrase struck me as, as, as remarkable. Did this individual have male genitalia? I, I think what I said, or at least what it, I... It, it, that is a verbatim quote, entirely <laughs> a female. Sorry, what I meant to say was hormonally a female. Okay, but that's not entirely. Did this individual have male genitalia? Yes. So you took a six foot two serial rapist, mm. Jesus Christ. serial child rapist with male genitalia, and he said, you know, I'd like to be in a women's prison. And your answer was, that sounds great to me. Let me ask you something. The other women in that prison, do they have any rights? Is, is that a question you're yes, asking me? Yes, the other women in that prison, do they have any rights? Of course. Do they have the right not to have a six foot two man who is a repeat serial rapist put in as their cellmate? Senator Cruz, I considered the facts presented to me and I reached a decision. I asked you a question. What I asked you what? a question. Do they have a right not to have a six foot two man who is a serial rapist put in as their cellmate? Do those women have a right to that? Every person who's incarcerated has the right to be safe in their space. But you didn't think so. You, you didn't think so. And in fact, I'm going to give some quotes from your order because 
Senator Kennedy is right. This is not a judge's order. This is a political activist. By the way, the beginning of your order be, uh, says, at birth, people are typically assigned a gender. I got to say that would astonish a lot of Americans. A lot of Americans think you, you, you go to the hospital, a baby is born, and you say, congratulations, you have a little boy, a little girl. The assigned gender, I know you went to Brown, but it sounds like it's in a college faculty lounge <laughs> with no bearing on reality. The Bureau of Prison argued what I'm saying right now, that if you put this person in a female prison, there will be a risk of sexual assault to the women. And you know what you did? You said you didn't care about the women. Have you dealt in what universe is someone who is a serial repeat child rapist not at a risk of reoffending? Senator, as I do in every case. Okay, I know oh, you've been Jesus told to repeat Christ. the line, I follow the law. I ask the question, <laughs> in what universe is someone who is a serial repeat child rapist not at risk of reoffending? Sir, I looked at the facts that were before me in this case. Again. All of the evidence, including the statements of every warden who had supervised this petition. You, I have to say, if I were the father of one of those women, and you decided that my daughter's cellmate was going to be a six foot two man who over and over and over again committed violent sexual assault. I would say the entire justice system is absurd, and it is clear on your record your political ideology matters a heck of a lot more than the rights of those women that you endangered. I think you're a rat. All right, sorry. I, I, I was we, trying to find a place to cut it off, but it's just— We had to go through it, the whole thing, it, We had to, yeah. Because it's important. Like, think of the mindset of, of a judge. This is somebody who has the power to put you away forever. And she's willing to put some dude in jail who's committed sex crimes in a jail full of women. It makes no sense. Oh, by the way, committed, and this goes to the to the theory that a lot of these guys are just saying that so they can go to the comfort of a woman's prison, and also because they're sex criminals that want to fucking rape women and be locked in it. Hold on, real quick. Is that the fact that he didn't transition until after he got caught for his crimes? Because he said that he committed all these crimes as a male. As a male, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, what are you going to say? That's also true. There's other two factors as well. One, what he raped, he raped children. He was a pedophile. Mm -hmm. He's not attacking adults. So that's, and the fact that he is a pedophile or going to a male's prison will definitely cause him death. So he'll do whatever it takes. T yes. Yeah. To go to an uh to a woman's prison. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point too. Oh yeah, he he'd be dead pretty quick. He raped a, a nine year old boy and a girl. Yeah, they probably kill him pretty quick. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's uh that's pretty insane that that's actually it's actually happening across the board a lot. Like where it's it's you're right that they this is a judge <clears throat> speaking. It sounds like a fucking college professor. Who's in charge of judging the like? Who judges the judges? You know what I mean? Like, I guess Supreme Court. Do but like, do judges not go for reviews to see like where their cases have gone, like the things that they have done to see if it's ethical, to see if it's, yeah, they have like I, a judicial council or something. I like suppose that. that's what we're watching right now. She's being I, I, kind of I, I uh, questioned on her, her record. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what comes of this. Um, this is a state uh, Senate Judiciary Committee holds a confirmation hearing for pending judicial nominees. Okay, so she's so, a judicial nominee. Yeah, yeah. This but is like it what sounds like it, no, it sounds like she's trying to get moved up to a higher court. This this right here should stop all that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Shows a a, a sign of bad judgment. And Absolutely. this also shows. You remember about? I think it was last year we did a segment on the same scenario. But they're pinpointing flaws with a black candidate that wanted to go up and everybody was just trying to vote her in because she was black. But they were ridiculing her the same way they're doing it right now to a white woman. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, oh you mean like as in it's not... It's not racist. It's not racist because yeah. they do it to every every yes. race. If you're fucking up, you're going to get checked. Yeah. That's just the... That's the way it should be. Yep. Yeah, good good point, Wanda. Yeah. Um... So yeah, they, it, it's it's uh pr I don't I don't understand uh well I guess I do understand because 
Cruz even pointed it out that it's people who care more about their political ideology than reality and they let it seep into their jobs. Yeah. I'm sure we all see it. Uh, if you work in a, well, one, do you work for yourself, but, um, and you don't really work in an office, but the thing is, is like, it. you see corporate environments. I see, I see his, I see his and her pronouns and in, in, in names where they shouldn't be. I see it. You see it. Yeah. Well, it seeps over even no matter where you work, there's somebody there that's in a power position that their whole thing is I'm here and I'm going to push through my, my advocacy for this and this and this. Oh, yeah. And then you'll see they're at their, their, um, their advocacy for these things mean nothing because they're they're advocating for two things that kind of cancel each other out, which is transgenderism that is hurting women. Yet this same woman, I guarantee you, will say, I'm also an advocate and an activist for women. For women rights. rights. And, mm-hmm. and then they'll probably also say that they care about children, but then they'll say that they'll f- they fight for abortion. abortion and Reproductive. Yet they care about the children coming in on the border. It's all children that are coming. It's bro. It's you. You can't trust that's anything they web. say. That's a crazy web. Yeah, it really is. Mm-hmm. It's, and just, that's, it's nothing but contradictions. It's all contradictions. Everything cancels itself out. Mm-hmm. So how do you how do you reason? Or what I was saying earlier, how do you even like? But I think ask a, ask for an apology from somebody like that. But I think that's the point that I was trying to make. Like these, some of these people, not all of them, but some of them are so far gone in this in this leftist world that it's not even worth trying to turn them because you know they're never going to change. Like those people, you might as well not even waste your breath. If somebody wants to have a conversation, then that is that alone, just by them wanting to have a conversation, then we should have the conversation because a lot of them don't even want to talk. Don't even want to talk. Yeah. And that's why I always say, then we should just have the conversation without them. Fuck them. Let's figure it out without them. Yeah, I, I agree. Especially if they're trying to like go against us on common sense things like men being <laughs> housed in women's prisons. That should be We should have nipped we should have nipped it in the bud. I'm sure cavemen, when they created prisons, <laughs> when they had jails, they separated the men and the women. That that GameStop kid had one of the most important pivots in time. He could have he could have nipped all this in the bud, but he was like, no, you are sir. That'd have been it. <laughs> That'd have been it. That's what sparked the shit. That what? That sparked it being mainstream, being cool again. No, that that sparked the. You gotta call me this, or else. Excuse me, it's ma'am. Yeah. It is ma'am. That sparked the shit. Oh, like it was just it, it made it where that was like part of the conversation now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Should we? I know he was out of line, but should we? <laughs> should we actually? <laughs> You have a dick, sir. <clears throat> and then people will say, "I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry." We we'll move on. But people, people will say, oh, "Why do you even care what somebody else does with their life?" I don't care. But it, you're gonna, you would, you would cause me to lose my job. You would cause me to lose everything that I that I hold dear to my heart if I don't call you mm. by ma'am or sir, and you're not that. That's insane. I'll tell you why I do care, because it's a mental illness. And mental illness affects all of society. That's fair. Especially when it's spreading and it's being propagated. We need to propagandize. We need to bring a I like that word. Good word. Good word. Good word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> propagandized and uh, pushed. Yeah. Especially onto children. I know that's the easy one to say, but mm. even adults, I think it's it's why are we pushing forward a, a mental illness? I had a conversation with a friend of mine. Who's a girl. And she said that she goes, Oh, I don't care if you're an adult. And I said, you know what? Like, I don't, I think we should just, we treat it as a mental illness again. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want, I don't want anybody to be transgender body modification and psychopath shit. He didn't even do a body modification. He just said he was a woman. It's like the lizard man. That's true. Yeah, you're right. That's all it takes. Jesus. And that's the point I think even Ted Cruz is pointing out that like even if we were to accept it on some kind of level, right? Mm-hmm. Um they're going to push it forward where they 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 really don't have any levels of judgment. It's just if you say it that's that's it. We can't we can't argue it. At this point he could have just identified it as a free man and walked right out the door. <laughs> it's not a sexual identity though. <laughs> that's the problem. That's actually white supremacy. 
I identify as <laughs> not being arrested. Huh? I'm gonna go home. A man that's goes, not in cuffs. <laughs> sir, sir, you're a criminal. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Huh? <laughs> Don't identify as one. Excuse me, it's reformed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 